Hello my beautiful Sagittarians, how are we? This is Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your read for the 2nd of December through to the 9th of December. Remember energy is fluid and please only take what resonates and leave the rest. This can be a few days before, this can be a few days after. So what do we have for our beautiful, thank you, Sagittarians? <laughs> They are flying. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. We're only a month old and we're trying desperately to grow our channel um, because I absolutely love doing this. And I love your little messages. And even if that's a lovely little heart, if it resonates, it's nice and private. And I very much appreciate it. Always like to say hello to you and connect with your energy. So what else do we have for our beautiful Sagittarius? Thank you very much, Lee. Ooh. The Emperor. The Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Oh, someone's creating their own reality here. Right. Sagittarius. Any more for our beautiful Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirit Guides. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarius. We have two. So we have the Four of Swords. Oh, we have three. So we have the Four of Swords. Right, I'm going to read them like this. Because we have six cards and then i'm going to clarify as we go okay um so the emperor to the knight of pentacles to the queen of wands to the four of swords in reverse to the page of swords and the high priestess wowzers so we've got the emperor and the high priestess there amazing to see right angel spirit guys can we please have some information on the emperor thank you so the emperor is clarified with the hermit. <clears throat> so I'm going to lay them like this. Knight of Pentacles, please, Angel Spirit, guys. Anything for the Knight of Pentacles? No, that's clarified itself. Queen of Wands. Okay. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords in Reverse, please. What's that about, the Four of Swords in Reverse? What are we disappointed with? The King of Pentacles and the World. Okay. What about the Page of Swords? Because that's an adventure coming into play. So the Page of Swords, please, Angel Spirit Guides. Thank you. The Page of Swords is clarified with the Magician, so you are creating your own reality with the Queen of Wands. And the High Priestess, or does she speak for herself? Because you've been feeling vulnerable, so you need to sit in your High Priestess energy. And it's to do with lovers. Right, 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 right. Right, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarians. Let me take a seat. I shall grab my massive cup of tea because it's been a very long day at work and we shall begin. We're starting with the Emperor energy here. Now, this could be somebody um, older than you. Absolutely. It can be a father figure um, or a husband or dad. But this is also talking about you having mind over matter here. And that is also clarified with the Hermit. So with the Hermit, as you can see, he's found his star within his lantern and he's done so by going internally. Our Hermit mode is our healing mode. It's our growth cycle. It's when we learn also. So with the Hermit, it's part and parcel of patience. Taking sudden action is not advised here. It's your learning stage, okay? So solitude, healing within, it's the seeker of the truth. So the, the emperor and the hermit together is dynamic. It's dynamic and it, it, it enlightens the path for you. So if you've been going down a path, my beautiful Sagittarians, that you're not quite sure is correct for you, by having this hermit, this time out, this, this solitude, this time to reflect within and the seeker, energy with your emperor energy that is when you're going to gain clarity and then we go to the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles basically is a messenger he can be slow and it's frustrating absolutely um but it is telling you to not give up and to keep going here so whatever 
you are you are gaining clarity on here you are moving forward here with the knight of pentacles it, it's a little bit of a go slow but it is getting going and it is coming into fruition have patience which is why the hermit's there because hermit is your patience card also you are creating your own reality here with the queen of wands the queen of wands talks about she's one of my favorites She's freedom loving, okay? She's ready for an adventure. She's active. She's creatively gifted. She's organized. She's a lover of nature. In the new tarot, she's a cat. Um, and she's moving forward with a queen of wands. She is creating her own reality. And what I can see there is she's doing it for the dynamics of family because the four of wands represents prosperity, harvest, success. It's your family, home, your community. You know, it can mean you manifesting home improvements or moving home absolutely that could represent yourself and you're putting things into you're creating this reality by putting your house on the market by moving but often this is this is down to family life as you can see they're stood in front of the home the children are down there with the the house they own and this represents your family life so you are manifesting your new reality i'm going to say here because that's what it feels like to me this new creative reality for the purpose of your family, which is beautiful to see. We then go to the Four of Swords in reverse. When we speak about the Four of Swords in reverse, we're talking about exhaustion. You're exhausted with everything. And if you are manifesting this and creating your reali own reality and you're possibly moving home or this whole new venture, I'm not surprised you're exhausted, my beautiful Sagittarius. You know, it, it's a lot on your shoulders here with the Four of Swords in reverse. So the four of swords in reverse is, you know, it talks of depression and spouts of depression. Um, you can be high as a kite one minute and low as low the next. And what it's saying here is with you suffering with this depression um, and the high highs and low lows, what it's saying is don't. We have a completion of a cycle here, Sagittarius. So if that is you moving home, if that is this new project, um, we are moving forward. And it's saying it's the completion of a cycle with the world. The naked dancer holds her two ones and she creates her own reality yes she does because you have the queen of wands and you have the magician so whatever you're putting into fruition is paying off and it's telling you to sit in your king of pentacles energy here the king of pentacles is your master card he's your stability he's strong he's capable he's ambitious um he can be rather shrewd but he's also a very huge lover of nature as well and he's just you know is a beautiful nature i don't think having to be savvy in this day and age ha should be shown as shrewd it's not low dimensional i think that's the imagery we put around it because of what people do with stuff like that so it's basically saying the, the end of a cycle start of a new one sit in your king of pentacles energy my darling because you've absolutely got it beautiful sagittarius so that is a very strong message and then we're moving forward we're going to the page of swords here the page of swords is your adventure okay embark on a new idea or venture you should be eager and proud of it don't let anyone squash your plans here my beautiful Sagittarius because you are the magician you create your own reality you know it's within your power and this is what the universe is telling you right now it's within your power my beautiful Sagittarius you're holding the wand you're holding the wand you're holding the wand you're holding the wand so we have three cards where you are holding that wand with the magician obviously he has an infinity symbol he has his cups he has pentacles he's always grounded a lover in nature he holds the wand of life there you are creating and manifesting your own reality moving forward as above so below growth willpower positive action forward and it can represent with you embarking on this new idea a new enterprise so that's very very exciting and it's telling you just to keep yourself nicely balanced and also can't as you can see as you can see the high priestess on the old tarot she is directly speaking to her spirit guide here and it takes a lot of spiritual work to actually be able to do that. And this is her inner child. OK, so this is when she was young. So what I believe with energy, I mean, I, I had direct contact from a very, very young age, from the age of four. Um, and I thought I was very, very weird and it shouldn't happen. And then I went to a religious school and then I thought it was something absolutely awful didn't realise at the time I was a light worker and I threw it away for years and it took me a long time to get it back again and have that 
conversation. So as you can see, she's conversating with a spirit guide. So often the high priestess is talking about your intuition. It's your inner wisdom. OK, but she's also I think it's very much something related to the past. So it might be an idea you've had in the past as a younger person and you are now moving forward with that with confidence So sit in your high priestess energy, which is absolutely lovely to see. Use your inner wisdom. See what other cut others can't you know see what others can't hidden secrets intuition and it's also telling you balance your emotions because when our emotions are balanced that that is wonderful i can see there's a relationship that's sending you off balance here so you know business aside this is very much to do with venture and movement but um business aside we have the lovers and we have the nine of wands the nine of wands basically talks about the last step this is the last step now guys this is self-control and confidence. It's stability and strength. In hard times, this card shows you you have all you need to maintain your position and eventually prosper. Remain vigilant. And that is with the lovers. So it's something to, and the lovers can represent a decision has to be made as a decisive point has been reached, for example. But it also can represent love, you and a partner, your significant other. Um, it's the yin yang balance. Sometimes a change of attitude towards love and happy relationship or business is needed here and that is what it's saying but how we're going to gain that clarity my beautiful Sagittarius is with our high priestess energy these are why this has come out with this because when we go within and we speak to our higher self for example that's what how I gain clarity I have a higher self meditation I know what direction this is what led me to this channel for example clarity to move forward in life so if you're struggling to know just what that is even if it's represented by um, this can because this can be love or business here. If you do a higher self meditation and you get that clarity, it enables you to move forward. So there we go, my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you very much, Angel Spirit guys. That was lovely. Thank you, Angel Spirit guys, for that beautiful read. May we please just clarify with an angel card? What do we have to see for Sagittarius? Thank you. Discernment. Discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it. Your angel guidance is to look at people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. That's our higher self, what we've just been speaking about. Thank you, angel spirit guides. Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. And the affirmation is, I trust my intuition. And, you know, call me psychic. <laughs> That's exactly what we've just been talking about. You know, the we've been speaking about using your gut feeling, learning to develop your intuition with a high priestess here and the hermit here, because when we go within, that's when we get clarity. Um, and it's absolutely awesome. So they're just agreeing with everything we've just said, which is lovely. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides. <laughs> so the, the great, the best co-workers in the world, you know, they don't argue back with me. Well, they do sometimes. They do sometimes. Um, best co-workers in the world. They're just agreeing with what I've just said. Um, so there we go, my beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed that read. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. You are going to. It is a journey. Absolutely. But journey is part of life it's part of growth and lessons and blessings right so have a great one i'm sending love and light your way please don't forget to like subscribe give me a little thumbs up ring the notification bell leave me a little heart if you'd like it just helps me be here for a start and maintain the channel and i very much appreciate it so lots of love to you and i'll see you next time bye bye for now